Hemostasis is a process that is responsible for the prevention or decrease in the bleeding. Now, uh, whenever there is an injury in the blood vessels, obviously this hemostasis process is involved there and prevent the leakage of the blood or bleeding from that injured vessel. So whenever there is any defect or there, there is any imbalance in this hemostasis process, this will lead to the hemostatic disorder. You can say hemostatics are, hemostasis disorders are the bleeding disorders that are responsible for bleeding and hemorrhages in, inside our body. So in our today's lecture, we are going to discuss about these hemostatic disorder, the normal physiological mechanism, and along with that, we will discuss about the different pathologies that occur because of these, uh, this, the imbalance in this hemostatic state. First of all, we will discuss about the platelets. That is the important part of this hemostasis mechanism. We will see what uh, are the different granules present out there and what is the basic mechanism of the activation, aggregation, and secretion of these platelets, how they adhere more uh, platelet to the endothelial surface. So we will just take an overview of this uh, normal hemostasis mechanism. We will also discuss about the different coagulation factors and we will discuss about the uh, procoagulant and anticoagulant complexes as well. Then by linking this in normal hemostatic process with the abnormal hemostatic disorders, we will start the hemostatic disorders. We will see how uh, the if normal process of hemostatic hemostasis is affected by the different defects, different disorders that will lead to cause the causing bleeding. We will discuss about the different causes of the bleeding in detail. We will discuss how vascular and extravascular uh, defects the platelet disorders and the coagulation factor disorders will cause the bleeding and how they will occur and how they will manifest. In this lecture, we will discuss about the vascular and extravascular disorders in detail. We will cover the platelet abnormalities and the coagulation factor deficiency in our coming, le coming lectures. We will start with the extravascular dysfunction that will invo involve the senile purpura, purpura simplex and scurvy. We will see what are basically the causes behind these three conditions. Then we will discuss about the vascular dysfunction. We will discuss about uh, the uh, deposition of the immunoglobulin in fragments and how these three conditions are responsible for the de deposition of the immunoglobulin factor in the endothelial surface. Then we will discuss about the hereditary hemorrhagic telangiectasia. We will see that what actually this disorder is. We will discuss about the different um, pathogenic mechanism that that is behind this condition. We will discuss about its pathogenesis. We will discuss about its morphology, its appearance, and uh, we will also discuss about the different clinical features of this disease, that how it manifests, what is the characteristics clinical feature of this disease, and what are the other parts of our body uh, on which this disease are, is producing some effect. Then we will discuss about the allergic purpura in detail. We will discuss about its cause, its clinical features and organs that it is going to affect. And we will discuss about its pathology. We will discuss about its uh, morphology and histological appearance, how necrosis and fibrin aggregation is, it can be seen in the kidney and other parts of the body. So these are all the things that we are going to cover in our today's lecture. Hope you guys are excited to learn more about the hemostatic disorder. For that purpose, just stay tuned to thiscaria.com. Also, if you want to watch lectures on other topics or other subjects, then you must visit thiscaria.com, subscribe, and get a trial of two days to watch all lectures free. Thanks for watching scaria.com.